software processes and process models are something that may sound like they are really complicated and complex systems, but actually they are none of that. A uh, software process model, in its simplicity, is a roadmap or list of activities which define how you <coughs> can advance from development needs or observed possibility for markets to a uh, existing or ready to launch system which you can then send, sell to your customers. For example, the software process me, uh, is the steps like uh, gathering requirements, design, implementation, testing and launch of your software product. And also list of uh, activities you should be doing while developing your software and the roles of different participants of this activity. In most simplicity, simple way it's only a guideline. It's more or less an idea on how things, things should be done with small group. On the other hand, it can also be large and huge uh, infrastructure or ecosystem for multinational teams to function and create new high criticality software. For, of course, this also means that each organization which develops software, be it game company or multinational software corporation or basically anyone, even open source projects, need some sort of software process and process model. Uh, in most organizations this is done in-house, meaning that the organization uses parts of existing process models and ideas uh, to tailor a activity that suits them well, but there's also the possibility to uh, buy your company commercial uh, process model and then tailor that to your organization. For example, the Russian Unified Process, which we are talking about in many occasions on this course, is one of these commercial uh, models where you can hire yourself a consultant to teach the basics and get your organization running. But on the other hand, also models like Scrum, which are really open form and open for any sorts of interpretations, are both completely valid process models and enable organizations to do software process. That is, develop software from initial idea to product that's launched, available to customers, and finally at the end of upkeep, uh, rejected or put to rest because there's no more customers or it's no more commercially viable to maintain the software. Anyway, the software process model uh, defines all necessary aspects and phases of development, but we'll get back to that later. The other term, in, term that you might come up with when talking about software process is the life cycle model. Basically, the difference between software process and software life cycle model is on the end, uh, end date of the definition. The software process more or less encompasses from the initial idea to activities to uh, release or deliver to customer, whereas the lifecycle model includes all the activities done with the software even after the initial launch. This may include things like upgrades or patching the work or releasing extra content, DLC, expansion disks, doing a extended version or tailored version for another customer, but basically the lifecycle model is from the initial idea to the end of upkeep, whereas the software process is from the initial idea to the delivery of product. Of course, this is only crudely said on some uh, places, this may vary a bit. Okay, so the most common software process models are are waterfall model, which is more or less the theoretical basis of these models, adaptive models, spiral, iterative models, incremental models, prototyping, uh, lightweight models, meaning agile uh, approaches, 
uh, Scrum, extreme programming, and that sort of things. And they all are more or less uh, guidebooks on how to create software. 